bam! So I was told that uh, ceramic coating helps keep uh, stuff off of uh, paint and such. So I mean like, I ceramic coated my toolbox today just purely so hopefully it'll help keep the junk off the top of it. Is that not how that works? <laughs> Finna the jump for the shit, all top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase gang. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fall through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go, it's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Hey, they for the ears, I know that's how they like. Yeah, I fantasize. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I fit it. I let them hit the field. What's up, everyone? I'm Logan with 89 Auto Works, and uh, today we are doing something a little bit different. Um, we are going to be going at head today and let me back up I guess so when you're building these cars you know um, I guess some people might think this is just super you know I guess uh, more or less a formula you know oh yeah I'd put these on these Jake's car the Subaru that is, that is like every custom every every single every single piece and part on that car is custom so every single step of the way it's no longer just like bolting parts on and just like going. Every single thing is custom on this thing, whether it be you're putting a bolt on and you know, we only bought some stainless steel hardware for this thing. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and drop a thousand dollars on stainless steel hardware for this engine. Doesn't make sense. Um, so when I don't buy stainless steel hardware, I physically take and actually hot polish the bolt heads so that they look good you know I don't want them to look shitty so I actually physically take and wire wheel them and then actually take and use the buffing wheel and buff the tops of the heads of them so they are shiny and pretty and sealed and coated so everything takes a long time and it takes an unbelievable amount of creative energy to see these projects through so today I kind of decided we're gonna take a break you know in the last video we talked about doing fun stuff you know I've been just dying to have more or less a content car um, you know, I, I've got, I got several of them outside. I just have no time to get to them and I have 99% of the parts here to build something extremely spicy. But the problem is, is I don't want to cut that last percent or whatever, you know, that's called 10%. I don't want to cut that last 10% and, you know, have kind of a spicy car. So we're going to do the exact opposite and I'm going to put together a car and do it in the cheapest way possible. Um, I want a car that I can just get in and have fun with. Um, I don't necessarily want something that is, um, it's not gonna be a daily driver. You know, it's gonna be something where we're gonna bolt a giant turbo on it and go have fun, because that sounds fun. Um, I haven't decided how big of a turbo we're gonna bolt on it, but I've got several options here for stuff that'll be spicy today we're gonna to start that video um, we're gonna be calling this car the roadkill WRX and the big reason behind roadkill WRX obviously I'm sure a lot of you have seen roadkill the TV show I love that show I've been watching that show for forever like literally since the very first season like I've been watching it forever so I uh, I can appreciate somebody wanting to you know, those guys don't just make stuff perfect. They make it run, they go have fun in it, and they enjoy it. And so that's what we're going to do today. I have a 2007, it's a 2.5i Impreza that I had bought. I was originally going to, I have another 2006 STI that I was going to end up swapping. And I'm just not going to. I'm just going to take and swap all my, I got lots of WRX parts around here that are, you know, awesome parts. And why not use them, right? Basically, I have to figure out what's going to be the easiest option to take and put a turbo ECU in that car. We're gonna go and just grab that car, I'm gonna drag it up here, and we're just gonna take a look at it and do a little walk around of it. It, uh, it is not nice at all, which is why we're using it, because it's the perfect candidate for just having fun. So I'm gonna go get that car, drag it up to the shop, and uh, we'll take a look. Well, here she is in all of her glory, guys. It's, uh not nice it's not I got this thing for like 400 bucks a uh, customer of mine good customer of mine's uh, brother had it before hit a deer with it drove it home and sat in his garage for like three years in his farm 
I bought it. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. I bought it literally because it had a sunroof. I literally was like, hey, worst case scenario, I can swap the sunroof into my STI. Well, fuck it. We're going to run this one instead. Um, so, start off by doing a little bath on this thing, and then we're going to pull her inside and start stripping her down. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm just playing. Shot when I land. Promoter paid for six flights. Got the team right. I just told Mr. Band. Came in for the bands. Beachside Villa for aesthetic. Just because, and I don't even like the sand. Stan Smith sneakers on the beach. That's the water. I just came in for the tan. This was always planned. You wouldn't understand. I could turn a Chevy to a Cullinan. I could turn a Rolls to an AP. I came from Sorry, sir, to come again. I came from two screens to HD. Tell them why you mad, folk. Yeah, Go on, tell them why you mad, folk. Why you mad, why you mad, no new friends. I couldn't catch a win until I cut off the loose ends. Used to whip the Honda in the trunk at two tens. Just like that, too. Out the speakers was max B. Couldn't say a thing about the way if you asked me. Never caught the chain, I was always trying to gain green. Riding around with my sexy love in the passenger seat. Huh? Tell them why you mad for. Give me a reason not to change on you once I give me a minute. I got checks in Hamburg, I might fly out this evening. I got checks in Moscow, I'll be back in a week. If it wasn't for COVID, I'd be in your sign. Counting cash on the couch is getting kind of boring. Must be talking about kids when you talk driving foreign. Say I'm lying and I suppose that was the universe's way of telling me, hey, idiot, stop pressure washing the inside of the trunk. So I spoke I can hit the studio and spit till my jaw's broken for records in the hour. I'm not bragging, it's all boasting. Turn the top ten and bar for bar, and it's all coasting. And it's easy for me. Just tell me, go on, I'm on go, it's no reason for me. Oh boy, is this carpet gonna get all the way removed and fucking pressure wash? This escalated all too quickly. Started out with just wanting to clean the interior. Oh man. Yeah, we're doing a dash swap. Uh, get that uh, WRX goodness in this thing from the uh, inside out. So we got to start with a dash harness and uh, basically go dash harness and then steering wheel and an ignition and a mobilizer. We'll be taking that out of another car. Dude, there's a lot of stuff that is going on under here. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this whatsoever. And I'll tell you, it's a lot. All right, guys, it's Saturday. We've been, uh, took a little bit of a break. Isaac gave me COVID, and uh, this is our first day of both of us back in the shop. Isaac's doing all the 1964 Galaxy activities, trying not to die, right? Or are you trying to die? I don't know. Not this Saturday. I got things to do. He's got stuff to do. Actually, it's people, but that's fine. So we're going to go out and, and uh, I spent a little time this morning getting um, the wiring harness pulled out of that other car. It's, uh, you know, it's such a mess. I don't know if you guys have ever actually seen what a bulkhead harness looks like for a WRX, but it's not small. Like, you know, all the way over to there. So, yeah, there's a... Uh, um, all the stuff in the world you have to do to these cars to have the uh, bulkhead harness come out. And I'll tell you, if you don't have several hours, don't even start this project because it will take you quite literally that long. So um, I'm going to keep plugging away on this. I have to swap the uh, column out. It's just easier for me to swap the whole column than it is for me to try to uh, take apart the ignition itself. Um, for the time being, we're going to get everything in this car that it needs to run. I'm going to put the heater core box in, but I am not going to hook any of that stuff up. So if later this car lives longer than I'm anticipating, I can drive it in the winter. But um, I don't think it's going to. Don't know. We'll see. I, I haven't fully decided if this thing is going to get all the, uh, all the hoon activities or not, but it's probably going to.